you look at the graphing this quadratic, negative 2x squared minus 16x minus 30. So let's graph. We need to find our vertex. Okay, this is not a single term uh, quadratic, it's a trinomial. So we can actually find our vertex fairly easily using h and k. So I always like to label the quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, that is handy and dandy. So now we're going to, we know that a is negative 2 and b is negative 16. Okay, so we have a, we have a equals negative 2, b equals negative 16. We're going to plug that into h equals negative b over 2 times a. So we have negative, whatever our b value is, over 2 times whatever our a value is. We see from our original equation that b is negative 16 and a is negative 2. So this negative negative makes that a positive 16 on top. 2 times negative 2 is a negative 4. And then we see that that is negative 4. 16 over negative 4 is negative 4. Okay, so h equals that. Now we find our k. We take negative 4 and we plug it into negative 2 times negative 4 squared minus 16 times negative 4 minus 30. Okay, negative 4 squared is 16 times negative 2 is negative 32. Negative 16 times negative 4 is positive 64 and we get negative 30. Okay, again, I like to combine my negative or with these two first. Negative 32 minus 30 is negative 62 plus 64. That is 2. So now my vertex is at uh, negative 4 and 2. All right. Now we are going to find our roots. We need to find our roots by factoring. All right. So we're going to factor negative 2x squared minus 16x minus 30. Again, I don't like that that's a negative 2. So I'm going to actually factor that negative 2 out. So I'm going to negative 2 on the outside. If I divide that by negative 2, that by negative 2, and that by negative 2, we will get x squared. Negative over negative is a positive. 16 over 2 is 8x. Negative over negative is a positive. 30 over 2 is 15. Now we find the factors of 15 that add to give me 8. The positive factors of 15. So that's 3 and 5, 1 and 15. If I look at the positive sides of those, okay, positive 3, positive 5 gives me positive 8. So that becomes negative 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 5. And we set that equal to 0. So we have x minus 3 equals 0, and x, I'm sorry, x plus 3 equals 0, and x plus 5 equals 0. Let's solve these for x. So we're going to minus 3, so x equals negative 3. We're going to minus 5, so x equals negative 5. So we have these two points, negative 3, 0 negative 5, 0, and my vertex of negative 4, 2. Let's go plot these and see what we get. Okay, let's double check. Vertex, four, negative 4 and 2, negative 3 and negative 5. So let's put a point at negative 4 of 2. There's our point. Then we said we had negative 5 and negative 3. Okay, and then we just simply go down. We don't go past the next line because we don't know what it's going to be. Okay, we can go past negative 3, but we can't go past negative 2. We don't know what it's going to be. So this is the general form of this equation. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you have your vertexes and your roots right, we'll probably give you credit.